to this week's edition of Metal Machine. We are here at ShadowCon in St. Petersburg, Florida, and we are sitting with a vocal legend. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. I know. Uh, this is uh, Miley Flanagan. We're here at, uh, again, Shadow ShadowCon in uh, St. Petersburg. Um, tell me, um, uh, first of all, how are you enjoying the con? And do you do a lot of cons, uh, per se? Um, I'm enjoying the con. It's great. Uh, I've only been here, like, you know, in less than 24 hours. Um, and uh, I do a fair amount of cons, but not a lot in the United States. I do some really big ones overseas. Right. So um, in the United States this year, I, I did a couple and that's, and then this, right. that's it, yeah. Um, so uh, for the people that don't know who you're voicing, what you voiced and how you started, um, talk a little bit about that. Um, well, I'm mostly here because of Naruto. I play Naruto Uzumaki. I've done that for 600 episodes, 40 video game, 42 video games and six movies. Um, and other than that, I'm on a Disney show called Lab Rats, which is on camera. I'm on a Nickelodeon show called Pig Goat Banana Cricket. And I've done a bunch of movies, Rango, um, Ice Age 3, and then I've done on camera movies like Evan Almighty, Yes Man, uh, 500 Days of Summer. Um, done a lot of TV. I was on Shameless and ER and Grey's Anatomy. Um, so you're switching over from like the voice and the actual yeah, acting as well, right? Yeah, I do. <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> I do. Um, I, I do both, yeah. I uh, do both on camera, I'm about 50-50. 50 on camera, 50% voiceover. Uh, it seems that a lot of actors, when they've graduated from uh, you know, their acting schools, per se, uh, you know, a lot of them maybe, oh man, it's like so hard to get into this you know, genre of acting, uh, have seen a pathway through voice acting. You know, how, uh, how was it for you when you were doing what you were doing in school and studying your craft? Um, I didn't study my craft. I uh, was a poli-sci and math person. Um, got my degree in political science, but I did improv comedy with comedy group extracurricular. Um, Talk about a plan B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if this thing didn't work out, right? Yeah. Well, I had never intended to be an actor. I just kind of it kind of fell into my lap, and so. Um, but then I was always on camera, um, pursuing that. I did. I do a lot of theater. I did a lot of theater. I still do a lot of theater. Did some stand up and stuff, um, and so. Then it was through on camera that people were like, well, you should do voiceover, maybe study that. And then I did actually take some classes in voiceover, and then I started working in voiceover as well. But I'm, I'm sort of, a lot of voice actors do mainly voice acting. I am very much split down the middle, which is a little bit more unusual. So what got you into the acting, per se, when you were just studying your uh, sciences or your math, per se? Like, what, what made you pursue that or go into that field? Um, I had a really good comedy group in college, and we reformed after college. Um, some of the people have gone on to do great things. A friend of mine from the group won, his, won the Oscar last year for Spotlight. Um, he wrote and directed it. Um, great movie. Yeah, it was a great movie. And, uh, and of course, others in the group uh, have equally terrific credits. Um, it just, it was fun and it was invigorating and, it, and I liked it. And then I was doing a lot of theater and getting a lot of work in theater and, and uh, just kind of snowballed from there, I guess. Yeah. So um, tell people what you're working on right now. I know you just had a panel and a signing and stuff. Uh, what is it that you're doing right now currently? Um, I'm still doing Naruto. I just finished the Naruto the latest movie, Boruto. Um, I'm on a show called Pig, Goat, Banana, Cricket, which is on Nickelodeon. Um, and I'm Lab Rats is still on. Lab Rats, Bionic Island, and Lab Rats, Elite Force. They're still on Disney right now on Disney XC. Um, I did a whole bunch of pilots this year. We'll see what happens. Voiceover pilots, fingers crossed. They're all top secret, so I can't really talk about them. Um, but hopefully one of those or two will go if I'm lucky. Um, and then other than that, I'm just doing the actor stuff, which is you audition and audition and audition, and sometimes you get the job. Um, so, uh, and I'm doing Naruto because it never ends. <laughs> yeah, right. For all those fans out there. Yeah. Um, so, uh, what about uh, um, being that this is like one of those rare appearances here in the states? Are you planning to do maybe any other conventions where fans may be able to see you and greet you and all that kind of stuff? I don't have any plan for the next several months. I'm doing a play in December. I think I'm doing a play January, February, March, and then hopefully I'll do some conventions in the future. But I don't. I don't have anything on the books right now. You're definitely busy, though, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah. When I leave town, my agents get mad. So I have to make sure that I really want to leave town. That's why I'm here, because I wanted to come here. Um, so uh, for those who are trying to break into any acting uh, uh, areas or even voice acting, what would you say to them? What kind of advice can you possibly give to them? Um, I would tell them to do improv comedy and take acting lessons um, at a local community college or community theater. Um, just do theater, do live action stuff, and that's going to help. Okay. 
Well, thank you very much. Uh, continued success. Thank you. Miley Flanagan. Miley Flanagan. It's Miley. Miley. Like Miley <laughs> I said Cyrus. the first time already. Right, see, <laughs> Miley Flanagan, uh, Naruto, and all those other uh, fine uh, uh, animated and acting catcher in a show that's going to air on TV uh, in your area. Um, continued success. Thank you so much. Thank this you. is JR Metal Machine.net. See you.